QR code is everywhere. It is being used in our e-wallet, transfer money through Duet Now if you're Malaysian, on public transport to take attendance, watch movies in the cinema, and many other countless systems use QR codes. And everyone loves it, especially when you need to scan the QR code in a restaurant to get your menu using your own mobile data, and it will take forever to load the website because the coverage of your telco in the area is slow as, as a developer, I am amazed at how this piece of blocks can store information and become an important medium for a system to transfer data. And that is why I started a project about a file sharing system using QR code as a medium of communication. The idea is simple. There are two types of users in this system, the sender and the receiver. The sender will send files to the receiver. That's all. Simple right? Well, now let's talk about the technical part of this system. The sender will send files to the receiver but technically the sender is uploading files to the server and then the server will store those files on Google Cloud Storage. After that, a QR code together with a link will be generated for that particular upload session. The receiver can download those files using the link but the most convenient way is by scanning the generated QR code. There are a few options on how you can upload files. First, of course, you can click the Upload Files button and choose which files you want to upload. Second, click on the Upload folder. This will allow you to select a folder and the system will zip your folder automatically for you. And the last one is you can drag and drop files for you to upload. Remember, drag files, not folder. What happens if you drag a folder? Well, you just need to wait forever for the folder to be zipped. I admit this is a major problem for this system and this is really difficult to handle because drag and drop system for web applications or any other platform is not as easy as people think. It is much more complex than clicking the mouse and dragging those files. Remember when I said the folder will be zipped automatically? Well, technically every time you upload files, doesn't matter which button you click, the system will zip your files before uploading them to the server. So the system only stores zip files. This decision was made to make it easier to store those files and save space before storing them on cloud storage. Now let's move to the receiver perspective. In this system, only one device is required to have a camera for scanning the QR code. It does not matter whether you are the sender or receiver. As a receiver, you can scan the sender's QR code or the sender can scan your QR code. This is possible thanks to the technology called WebSocket which allows our device to communicate with the server and vice versa. This is convenient especially when you are using a PC without a webcam like me, you just need to use your other device camera to scan the QR code. Well of course it is weird if you try to scan the QR code using your laptop's webcam but as long as it works, it works. If you ever wonder what data I put on the QR code, you can use any other QR code scanner and read the data. The structure of the data is a JSON string with type of action, user ID or folder ID depending on which QR code you are scanning. You can try to use this application on sementara.screen.xyz and if you want to dive deeper into this project, the best way is to read the code yourself. The good news is this project is open source and I am planning to improve this project to make it able to share files directly to other devices using WebRTC. The link to the repo is in description. I hope you enjoy this video. Subscribing might help me to do more videos about my other projects. Actually, I have a lot of other projects but just too lazy to do editing and explain those projects. I hope the number of subscribers will help to motivate me on making more videos. And thanks for watching.